New developments tonight in the debate over whether to change the name of Washington's football team. Redskins owner Dan Snyder is now taking a different approach to this controversy. Hatzel Vela joins us now with Snyder's new mission. Hatzel? Allison, he's not changing the name. Instead, in an extensive letter to fans, Dan Snyder pledges to find ways to improve the daily lives of Native, Native Americans. Over the past couple of months, Snyder says he has traveled to 26 tribal reservations because he wanted to hear their views and learn firsthand about their experience. The challenges in the Native American community do not rely on the team's name. Change the mascot, change the name. He says, but on other harsh realities like poverty, hunger, and health issues such as diabetes and alcoholism. In the letter, Snyder says, I've listened, I've learned, and frankly, it's heart-wrenching. It's not enough to celebrate the values and heritage of Native Americans. We must do more. Snyder is doing more by starting what he's calling the Washington Redskins Original Americans Foundation. It seems like he's admitting like there's something wrong, but on the other hand, I think he's just trying to do the right thing and, and help people out. Snyder says the foundation's work already started. It has distributed more than 3,000 coats to several tribes this harsh winter. Shoes were given out to players on both boys and girls basketball teams. The Danny Snyder means well, but he's always trying too hard. To James Yap, it sounds too much like a public relations stunt. Snyder, he says, sooner or later, will have to just change the name. Even if 1% thinks it's a slur, it's still a slur. In a statement, a spokesperson for the Oneida Indian Nation said, we're glad that after a decade of owning the Washington team, Mr. Snyder is finally interested in Native American heritage, and we're hopeful that when his team finally stands on the right side of history and changes its name, he will honor the commitments to Native Americans that he's making. Snyder says these projects are the first of many. He says the foundation is working on 40 others. Hatsafella, ABC 7 News.